Hello and welcome back to my Minecraft Survival Let's Play series, where in this episode we are starting actually quite a bit from where we left off in the last episode. I've done quite a lot, one of them being lighting up the entire town. So as you can see there are torches everywhere, but that is um, necessary to ensure no one's spawning in the um, town and there might even still be places that I've missed. But this should... Um, I think this should do, hopefully. Um, other than that, I have harvested a bunch of potatoes and I baked them. I have gathered a bunch of coal and I think that's it. Also, I added these um, these gates here. I basically just um, added two doors. These will be replaced with iron doors eventually so that they can't accidentally open them when a zombie stands right outside, which actually was a... Um, a thing that was about to happen or almost happened while I built these. A villager was standing right here with a husk standing right here, if I recall correctly. So those will have to be replaced with iron doors when I got the resources available for it right here and now, which I don't, and I don't want to go down mining. <laughs> now, in this episode, what we're going to be doing is not to go down the mine shaft that we found. I can't actually remember where it is, but I'm pretty sure it's around here somewhere and I can easily find it again. So don't worry about that. Um, in this episode, we are going to protect the... Th I was going to say three, but the two other village villages that we found. And um, But I'm not going to do it as secure as this one. Um... This one, I think I went a little overkill, maybe not that necessary. So for the next one, I'm only going to put fence, I'm not even going to use those. I'm only going to put fence. And since I got a lot of cobblestone, I'll see if I can limit it to just use cobblestone wall. But I might also have to use some wooden fence as well. But with that said, I think we are pretty good to go. The reason why I made all, made all these baked potatoes and the coal is because I was thinking about going down the mine shaft, but then, nah, I want to protect the two villages first and then we'll go down the mine shaft. I guess in the next episode, I think. For now, that's the plan. <laughs> so, yeah, we will go down the mine shaft in the next episode if everything goes according to plan. But in this episode, we are off to the next village in the chain. So yeah, this is pretty secure, I must say. And I think this is this village deserves it as it oh arrows. <laughs> as it has the desert temple and also got the ocean and stuff. It might be a second base, kind of. A second home. Away from home. A um Yeah, home away from home. <laughs> base of operations. But um yeah. The other two villages are not going to have this just as high as protection, but it will protect the villagers from um, zombification. So that's the main goal. Creepers and skeletons will not be able to get in there anyway, so it's just the spiders and they aren't really a problem. So with all that said, I'll get right over there and I'll see you there. Stay tuned. I also just want to say, well, we're here now, but <laughs> I also just want to say that this is not going to be like in the last one, last episode, where I didn't um, do like a time lapse thing with music. I'm going to do that in this episode since I just did a giant wall in the last episode. So I'm changing it a bit and making this into a time lapse thing. All right, so this is the first village. Um, it's a bit hilly, but I think the easiest thing is to simply just. Well, there's the ravine here, and I don't think they will walk over that. So if we use that to our advantage over here, if we start it from like here, or here actually, and then just move it out a bit, and then move it down, and then over, and then around the hill, I think that should be good. So yeah, I I punched, punched, I chopped some more oak wood for some more fence as I do believe that I'm going to be needing it, but we'll have to see. Um, but for now, I'm going to need a crafting table if there aren't anyone craft having a crafting table in their house anyway. No. Alright. Crafting table it is. And then I'm going to make a bunch of cobblestone walls. There we go. Make those. And make that. Uh, you know what? I'm just going to make it all, I think, because 
because we might need them. Yeah, I'm going to keep it like that for now. So I'll start right now. Um, I'll place the first few blocks and then I'll start the time lapse. So start from here, I think, then move over a few. This you cannot jump over, so the zombies will not be able to get past this. Maybe here, but then we'll be like that. That will definitely hinder them. So, and then I'll just move it down like so or something. Yeah, this should do. So I'll start the time lapse and uh, we'll get going. So, three, two, one. All right, that's basically it, I think. That's going to definitely prevent the zombies from coming in at any place whatsoever, I hope, anyway. Uh, let's just double check one around the wall. Let's check it. Um, I don't think these cactus should be any problems, but for security measures, let's just uh, get rid of them. Oh, that's a problem, yeah. That's something that I've seen because when it's, it, you know, it's not a full block. So oh, I got them and whoop, there we go. Because when it's like this, it goes out and touches this block, which enables you to walk on top of this and go those extra pixels up and which will allow you to jump on to the next one. So we just have to remove these and place them like so. And they are not smart enough to do that jump, I don't think. Uh, yeah, I don't think so. Let's do it like that. And this should be good too. Yeah, something just happened here. Happens in Minecraft. Oh, yep. They didn't just go. They didn't come in. They spawned here. So, <laughs> no worries. I will have to put torches here. But, um... It's not something I can do at this time. I'll do that off camera because that takes a really long time to do. Because you need to walk around the entire place and putting torches constantly. So these 48 gold coal are most likely gone when um, you see me in the next episode. Alright. I think this should do actually for this village. Uh, let's just give it a few... Like so, and goodbye, all of you. There we go. I'll keep the run flesh because I can trade it for emeralds. Now, these spiders will be able to get up here, but they are not a threat for the villagers, so they are not a big deal. Drop that. Um, this, whoa, this cave though is, so I will have to block that off so they can't get down here. Um, I'll have to fill this entire thing up. I do have a bunch of sand laying around. So, I'll have to do that. Um, but right now, I just want them to be able to get out 
if they should fall in and let's just see is the wall where's the wall compared to this wall hello hello oh that's a lot of them let's just uh, equip the shield here and do that there we go perfect block there we go hit him hit that hit you hit him and get shot and just die already <laughs> there we go all right back to business um yeah i'll have to fill that up make sure they can't fall through that but other than that i think it's pretty good so i think from here i'll just move on to the next village as i said i will not be lighting them up at this um at right now because i don't want to do it right now because it's a long process they cannot get in here either perfect let's move on to the next village i don't have many cobblestone walls left but yeah there we go we can't get in there there we go i might include this well just for the fun of it at some point but i won't do it uh, maybe i'll do it right now protecting them maybe i can hear a door being knocked down or something even though they can't knock doors down. So I can use my, the rest of my cobblestone wall, I guess. So just do this. And zombie is right behind me. Get killed. There we go. So just destroy this right here. And then take the well in the thing or inside the wall. There we go, should work just splendid. Get that out of here. Get that gone too. And we'll make that look pretty. There we go. <laughs> and put those there. And I think this should do like so. Yes, and then just meet it up here. This is a lot easier than the last wall I built, but that is more secure than this one because spiders cannot get through all right um i'll leave this village in peace and i'll go on to the next one and again i will be sure to light them up with torches but i will not do it at this moment so i'll be right back at the next uh, village help me all right we're here and i'm getting chased by a baby husk and a skeleton so um let me just get rid of these guys ow ow and now i have hunger which isn't great come on shoot there we go and another husk is right behind me there we go oh and i got hit again even though i have a shield that's fine too okay so let's take a look at this one it should become day pretty soon hopefully which will make my life a lot easier okay um hmm Okay, I think I got an idea for this one, actually. I kind of want to include the water, but just because I'm shy on resources, I'm thinking of putting it down here, up here, following the farm here, and over to the house, and then continuing from the other side of the house. Oh, to which, oh no, I don't want to get poisoned or something. Let's just shoot these guys. Uh, nine arrows, that's not much. Uh, got you, and die. Phew, okay. Close though. Not bad. Okay. Um, yeah. I guess I'll first of all find a place to make a crafting table. Uh, that's not a good sign. Let's get rid of you. And go in here. Hello. How's it doing? And another guy let's just kill you and get back in okay hey villager don't worry i'm here to save you i guess okay put that there and the recipe for uh i keep forgetting the recipe i think it's yes yeah, like this it's like this there we go i think this might not even be enough but we'll have to see if not, I'll have to go and chop some more wood. Um, okay. Yeah, I'll just start from one end and be right back. Again. So, starting 
next time lapse. Uh, I think I'll do this like more like from house to area, I think. Yeah, I'm going to try that and see how that looks. I can always change it anyway. So yeah, starting time lapse in. Gotta be kidding me. Starting time lapse in three, two, ow. One. oak wood. <laughs> First thing, I need oak wood. Second thing, I need to close this. And yeah, the wooden fence and cobblestone fence does not match, so I'll have to fix that. But um, yeah, I'll just have to... Yeah, I can go to the savannah, of course. Alright, yeah, continue time-lapse. <laughs> uh, I just missed those two last pieces. Yeah, that's great. Okay, time lapse over. My sword just broke. <laughs> now I have to use my axe. Well, it does have more attack damage than the sword does, so the the time it um, it needs to get back up is a lot longer than the sword. The only thing I need to out do is to get this fixed. So. Let's hope I got enough for this small bit right here. You know what, I might just cut a corner right there and... Yep, let's get rid of you. There we go. Let's get rid of this first. And yeah, not much exciting in this episode, but I hope it was enjoyable anyways. 
Um, in the next episode, as I've said, we will be going down into the mine shaft. Whoa, missed me. And um, yeah, we'll see what we can find down there. Maybe even some diamonds, who knows? Um, I'm just going to cut it right here. There we go. Just about made it. Phew. All right. I'm not going to light it up. That's going to take a long time. Well, I am going to, but just on this episode. I'll do that off camera. So, yeah. I hope you enjoyed. And if you did, remember to leave a like, comment, and share with your friends. And if you're new to the channel, remember to subscribe. Anyways, <laughs> I hope you enjoyed. And I hope to see you next time. Have a nice day. Oh, dear. Yep. Mm-hmm. This is... Yep. I'm out. Bye. <laughs> Hope to see you next time. Have a nice day. Bye-bye. Uh, these guys are crazy. Help. <laughs>